Yeah. Hi guys. So sanctification. I was just thinking Oh, I better check up if I'm sanctified. Uh, yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of people that are tell you gotta gotta jump a lot of hurdles or whatever, but I think what it basically comes down to is Holy Spirit's done it for you. It's not really something you can do yourself, but <clears throat> So, yeah, I just found a good little um, note here online. It gives you a bit of a rundown, so it sounds pretty good. Um, so, yeah, the scriptures make it clear that sanctification is vital for a Christian's growth development on life's pathway. There is no doubt God desires us to be partakers in this, as we read in Thessalonians. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, so that's it. Sanctification, which no one will see the Lord without it. Which, there you go. So, sanctification is another term for holiness. So, I look at like holiness as set apart. Um, so, yeah, from from the world, pretty much. Um, something drastic has to happen for us to change from being the way we are into being holy, as He is holy. Um, so yeah, it's a radical process. Um, it begins a life of reconciliation, uh, true repentance of past sins. God forgives us for Jesus' sake, the wonderful experience. Uh, we soon discover we are tempted to sin and that we must fight and overcome it by the power of the Holy Spirit, right? Because that's what I was saying. Holy Spirit got rid of all my addictions. I didn't do it. A couple of them, he did some lessons with me to teach me why he was because some of them I didn't see why I had to give up these um, addictions and um, why well, one of them actually I said I didn't want to give up because I love it and it was smoking I didn't I said I won't give this one up God and, but I ended up, he, he got rid of that one too and it was really easy I was amazed I, I thought it'd be really very really hard um, but, but yeah, so all, all your addictions and the Holy Spirit gives them up, and your sins, you become more conscious of what a sin is, um, um, uh, what's sinful. Uh, we can indeed come to life uh, of victory over all conscious sin, that is thoughts, attitudes, actions, uh, the moment we know um, of temptation. All right. um, so yeah, this one, Romans 6, I, I like. Romans 7 as well but now be, having been set free from sin having become slaves of God you have you, you have your fruit to holiness and the end of everlasting life uh, we are free to stop sinning all right but um, where are we discovery through being set free <clears throat> so yeah we still have sin in our flesh as the Apostle John points out if we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. All right, so that just means it's still in your flesh. It, it doesn't mean you can keep sinning. <laughs> you, you've got to stop sinning. Yeah? Otherwise, if there's no change in your life, um, you're not being sanctified. So you need to. Um, <clears throat> it went, I used to have hundreds of friends, like literally hundreds. I had lots. I was into live bands and. Oh, mind sites all over the place and um, all that sort of thing. Lots and lots of friends. And um, yeah, now basically hardly any, maybe just the, my my family, my church family sort of stuff online. There's like no churches around me that are, that, uh, are interested in um, this sort of, uh, like the rapture, they don't want to know about any of that, or Jesus coming, or keeping an eye on tribulations, or it's not really their thing. Um, but yeah, that's that's a, that's a part of being holy. You get set apart from uh, the world, and that's part of the sanctification process. So I used to have a nickname, um, and that was what everyone knew me by. So when when um, it says here. Um, a fruit sowed from a seed in order for fruit fruit to holiness to grow the seed of our own life our own will must be sown and must die unless a grain of wheat falls into the ground and dies it remains alone but if it dies it produces much grain 
Uh, the Apostle Paul makes the declaration, I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. And the life I now live in the flesh, I live by faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Uh, do we hate our own I according to the flesh of our own will? If so, then will we will be willing to sow into death so the new life can grow. Yeah, so victory over sin has to do with overcoming sinful lust of the flesh um, revealed at the moment of temptation. Uh, <coughs> sanctification continues with the process of dealing with sin that is revealed to us after we have done or said something wrong. Yeah, so um, that's the thing. Um, that's how you know you're you're being sanctified if you're dead to the old person, right? That person that you used to be has died, no longer part of your life. Um, even like some friends that are class as brothers, a couple of them have died. I've got one left in that. Um, he knows I'm all Christian. -y. It's not really his thing, but he's he starts. He listens. He's He's a patient man and he listens, so that's that's pretty good, you know. Got a few friends like that, a couple like that. Um, but yeah, I don't really hang out with um, anyone because uh, um, I've got a neighbour who <laughs> puts up with me. He's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, that's, that's, this is basically how you know you're sanctified. So I'll, I'll leave the link in the bottom there and just sort of go through it have a bit of a read and uh, that's about it so yeah I hope that helps guys God bless